and plead with engineer David Omahe, the past governor of Ebony State, who is currently the minister for works, to please pay me my money. This man has been owing me for the past nine years. I'm not going to go video and want to try and do this work, but hello, one here and one I call engineer David Mwezi Umahe, that is the former governor of Ebony State out. According to this woman, also not David Umahe Olo, during his governorship election campaign in 2015. And all the Chinese also, according to her, not 25 million naira but the Diego Umahe Kwesiukuya. So down, all the Chinese they all know Umahe win his the election. Then, can I quickly go back into details? I'm going to watch the video my nature. Man, I, this video, I try to believe me, I want to make YouTube more bassy because I am not from the other side. Man, madam, you don't check what you Open you in a good place, then go and get yourself a human rights activist. Somebody like break the family. Contact the man and then get yourself a lawyer. Follow this thing off immediately. Because I'm not going to get you a man to get you a social girl. Did they go in here? And they have a very big lesson for one who has own name a business. Name a business, mother, I be a prize your business. Just because if you're the person, Diego, and the person is on a power, and the person be a politician, I'm going to go go back. Remember, make a chunk of money with any agreement in getting a madu rich before getting your name a business. So that's up now, you're going to go back. Go with the legacy. So watch the video. Go on for the reason. The business is the woman now, my email. My evidence is the woman who drug on ground. Watch the video, come on, come on from the horse's mouth. Hello, come Good afternoon, Nigerians. Good afternoon, and thank you to everybody who has been very supportive towards this case between me and Engineer David Omahi. I've been receiving calls from all over the world. People have been calling in. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Now, I owe it as a duty to Nigerians to explain to you what happened and what transpired between me and engineer david omai because so many of you don't know what happened my name is tracinita nicholas ohiri i met uh engineer david omai when he was the pdp chairman of a boy state at transcomputer in abuja i met him during my exhibition at transcom with a friend who sells artwork and that was his beating corporate gift. He was not the only one I met. I met a lot of other people who turned out to become my customers along the line. But I'm going to be very brief. He was always inviting me to his state to come and make presentation on corporate gift items. We will come, he will invite us, we will make presentations. He will pick things he wants to buy. We will send him a proposal and, to, and I will tell him, straight on that you have to make 50 percent deposits before i start the job because most of the corporate gifts he was speaking i don't produce them here i travel out to produce them and bring them in so he kept it kept on going and usually he will say go and do it go ahead i said no sir i have to get money from you before i proceed so that one he will just stay he will just call and invite and we go because a lot of other clients call me all over nigeria since I need to corporate gift. So we'll get there, he will still pick, even for his hotel. We will send a proposal and he will not make payment. So I left him and faced my business because I have other clients and companies that I work for in the course of corporate gifting. Fast forward to the year he wanted to contest as a governor. Then he has he was already he, he now became he now later became a deputy governor. He now called me out of the blues one morning around 5 a.m. I picked up his call. Ah, he just said, yes, he was a deputy governor then. How are you, sir? He said, it's fine. He said, he wants to inform me that he's running for the position of a governor. I said, ah, congratulations in advance, his excellency. He said, okay, that he'll be needing me to produce promotional gifts. I think I know those gifts that when he's campaigning around the villages, in a boy state, he'll be giving out to people. I said, yes, I understand. So I sent, and we went, he invited us, we went. This man picked notebook, pen, and one crystal, one uh, desktop, 
that has a clock. This were the things that Engineer David Omar picked, which I produced. If you people are some of you that are very vigilant, you will see the notebook, the pen, and the desktop in the pictures I've been posting. I he said he doesn't have money. He he was open to me. You know when an adult man open, he said for now that he's actually so same money and that. At one time he called me from Abuja where he, he went to do a size with good luck. One Saturday like that they were doing a size. He said he went to source money to, for the campaign. That I should just be patient. That I know I'm his person. I said, okay. I went ahead. Okay, I kept on waiting. He now told me one morning, I can go ahead and if it is, I should go ahead and produce this item. So when I spoke with him, after I gave him another uh, three months, after the first 18 months, he said, are you calling? Are you? I guess your money, you can't just... How many people brought free things for me now? You're still requesting for this payment? I said, I don't understand, sir. He now said that people have been bringing things here free of charge. I don't know, this is your payment. I said, excuse me, sir. From the beginning, you've been asking me to be patient with you. You appreciated me and I was very grateful that you were... You, you, you appreciated the job I did. You fell in love with the job I supplied. And you've been telling me to calm down and even pray for you to win. And now you're telling me that, am I asking that this, this job should be free? And I told him that, ah, but in the first place, why should you request for the job, I, a job of 25.4 million naira to be free? I've visited your state four times. The four times I visited your state, I came with my staff, at least my driver and two other staff, making us four people. We will stand like this at your reception, you will be there. I will pay hotel bill for myself and my staff. You will take me to your filling station and fill my tank. You will not ask me not to pay. I paid at your filling station. All the time I lodged in your hotel, I paid. Since I've been going to a boy state, I've been coming to a boy state on your invitation, you have never given me a cobo. Why on earth should I do a job for you for free? This was it, he hung up on me. Till today, he hung up on me. The next minute, I tried to call him back again so that we can finalize it now. He blocked me. Okay, now I start sending messages to other fools. And he now, sometimes, the thing I gave him time, I felt maybe he will understand. The message will sink in and he will come back to his senses. I gave him time. So Nigerians, after like six months, after like uh, six months here, yeah, I start calling him again for my payment. I will pray in the midnight concerning this payment. I go, please solve this problem. Oh, this one I supply something. To. After appreciating me for the job and begging me to be patient, he's not telling me that am I asking for the money? Am I still asking for this money? Please God, when I finish midnight prayer, I'll send him a test. Please uh, show me mercy and release my payment. This man will respond. If David the man, he will respond, God is busy. I have the evidence. Then, when I do midnight again, I send him. I send him and say, that one day, you will pay for insulting me. The insult that I insulted David the man, is because I told him that, Sir, you have never given me a cobo in my life before. You have invited me to your state four times. I paid hotel bills in your hotel. I paid for food that me and my staff ate. You invited me. I've gone to different states to work. Even before we reach there, they make arrangements for, for, for where I will stay. At least even if they don't make arrangements for where I stay, which I'm not entitled to. At least they, sometimes they provide me and myself with food because they invited us. I have been to a boy state four times. You have never given me a cobble. You have never buy bus fuel for me. You have never paid accommodation for me and my staff. Ah, okay, come on. I can't do a job of 25.4 million dollars free for you. Who I be? Who are you? Ah, I'm not into prostitution now. I want who I be. I'm not into drug trafficking. I'm not a politician's daughter. So why should I do the job for you free? From where? This man said one day he was even telling me that I should make mistake and enter for that he will kill me. When he said he will kill me, that was why I kept because I'm a mother with children. I don't want to die, and I will not die. David, you pay me my money. So till then, so every event you have tried so many things. I've got to meet so many people. 
Now, people are asking me why I came to the social media. I will tell you why I came to social media. 2009, I was called to Kami to come and do a job by a committee set up by Shekara who wanted to take a Tomanin uh, title. Do you know that I did that job? Job of 90 million. They gave me job, job of 35 million. They gave me the deposit of 10 million and told me to start going. Foolish me, I now travel to them and produce the job. This people did not answer me again. Do you know I took a loan? You know how this loan people, I took a loan to complete that job and brought it for that money ceremony. The loan I took, this people after the money ceremony, they all dispersed. The chairman of the committee then was Hans Zadama, the former justice of Kanu, chief justice of Kanu State. Do you know that that money, that, I, that loan I took, I crewed 90 million, I had to sell my house in Lekki Phase 1 to use and, and clear that loan. I, clear, I, I sold my house in, in Lekki Phase 1 to clear that loan and my children could not still go to school. I have lost a house. I still could not finish all the loan. People were dragging me here and there. I lost my office in Abuja. Many people know this story that I'm telling. I went to Shekarao's house. Even when he became the Minister of Education, you know when they finish as governor, they move into another team. They don't retire, but they don't they the food there for money. I went to Abuja. I spent six months in Kano chasing this money. Nobody had my crime. Nobody helped me. Till today, that money has not been paid. I gave first to Skyamu 250,000 Naira in 2010. Go ahead and check the value of 250,000 Naira in 2010. That was when first to Skyamu was, was preaching against injustice, so not now. To fight that case. Till today, Festus Kayamu took my money. Festus no go court. Festus, where is my money? He said, let's open, reopen the case. The guy was just doing me like this. This same Festus Kayamu that, that took my 250,000 naira and did not take this matter to court. This same Festus Kayamu now is in government as a minister. Okay, you said you go to which court? The person, the committee, head of the committee that ate the money that was released to me in Kanu is the former Chief Justice Sam Sadama. If I don't, the late Emir may he so continue to rest in peace, knows this story. I was always going there, they would not allow me to see him because all of them in that, in that Emirate was part of those that was in that committee. Where do I begin to tell my story? Do you know the scars many of us are carrying for just being Nigerians? Please, I'm praying on all Nigerians, help me. David Omahi has not paid me my money. My other minister, Mrs. David Omahi, your son just blocked me. Thank God, that means he has, he has seen the videos. Your son, husband, Mwese, just blocked me. Please, I'm begging you people, before God's anger starts raining on you, pay me my money. When I lost my house in the first one, it was only Pastor Daniel Olukoya. I prayed for one after one midnight prayer. Holy Spirit told me to go and meet him. I had it loud and clear. I went to him. Exactly what the Holy Spirit told me. He said, when you get there, he will ask you how much you need. I went to that man. He said, how much do you need to rent another house? I moved from being a landlady into a room, and, a two room and panel. This Dr. Daniel Olukoya, the general overseer of Mountain of Fire, paid my house rent, paid my children's school fees for a whole year. That was how I started again. When I don't do me for this country, David, please pay me my money. David, engineer David Omahi, pay me my money. And from now, the other 50 years, if anything scratch me, you are the one. Anything that happened to me, you are the one. You are the one that we hold Nigeria should hold responsible. Because I know you. People that know you know you. And they know you're a very wicked man.